Well, hey, everybody. It cometh for egg. Just making a video. It might be quick. It might not. I don't know. But I'm long overdue for a, a pickups video from the card show and just some pickups that I've had in general all around. So welcome, welcome. want to thank you for joining us. Please tune in this Thursday. That's tomorrow for live egg auctions here on the channel. I want to bring you the best and most entertaining auctions out there. So come join us, please. Tomorrow night, Thursday, that's the 13th, uh, here on the channel. It's going to be a great time. And uh, we're going to go over my pickups and the uh, cards from the Sebastian Card Show this past weekend. So actually it was the weekend before. Man, I'm behind the times. But anyway, uh, first off, shout out to a fellow YouTuber and fellow Russo family member. For doing a deal here, hashtag Russo family, for my very second SGC holder ever, and uh, or in my collection currently. That's Juan Soto, perfect ten, his 2018 tops update. Great card of a great player, and came to a great deal with a great guy. So shout out to Firehands. I'll leave a link in the description below to check out my buddy and Russo family member. Fire hands, Tenny. And uh, yeah, we've got some other great pickups here. A lot of these I got off of eBay for the Yankees collection. I picked up this Baseball America 1989 card of uh, Bernie Williams. I think I mentioned that uh, Retro Fan sent me a Bernie Williams minor league card that I did not have. So now I'm all about getting any Bernie Williams cards I didn't have. And then got a great deal in this, man. Robinson Cano, possibly a future Hall of Famer, you know, who knows. Uh, great card of uh, Heritage. Was that Bowman Heritage? Just Bowman Heritage. Back in the day, you're looking through a knot hole. <laughs> you, used to, you look through a knot hole, you dirty prick. But uh, uh, on eBay, I also found these great deals on uh, uh, some gold cards, uh, rookie cups of uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Got this gold card from the Home Run Derby. That's an update card with the rookie cup, numbered out of, what, 2019. And then this one, I love it, the OxyClean background. I love this Tops and Tops Chrome card, the OxyClean back there of Ronald Acuna. Got the gold, and I'm thinking about starting the rainbow because I've picked up several others as well. I just dig the OxyClean ad back there. I think it's really cool looking. And so I had to pick those up at a really great deal. Then I was on Facebook in one of the groups there. And a uh, gentleman put together a great lot for me. Went ahead and picked that up. Uh, some of those include, I got these Elite Series. Got two Mike Trouts here. This one looks more like a Snowflake Refractor. This one looks more like a Pac-Man Refractor. I don't know what to call it. And then I got the uh, Babe Ruth. And another kind of Shimmy Shimmy Yeah, Shimmy Yeah, and Shimmy Yeah. Give me the mic so I can take it away, Refractor. And uh, so they're all Elite Series cards, but they're all definitely different refractory periods on them. So I dig that. I uh, picked up a whole lot. Got this Mike Trout shine, Randy Arosa, Reign of Red, Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis Jr., second year, beautiful gallery card insert, and the uh, silver packs. And then my first ever Omar Vizquel autograph. I did not have an autograph of probably future Hall of Famer, Omar Vizquel. He's got a great auto, showing his time on the Cleveland Indians. So let me pick those up. Those were good pickups. Now I'm going to go to the show. We're talking about the show. Enjoy the show. Uh, first off, you know, I met my good buddy uh, Alex over at uh, Palm Beach Sports Cards there. Check it out. He'll be there providing the cards for egg auctions tomorrow night. Uh, he set me up with the middle card here. Got my uh, three-pack of uh, goatee, playing days, Todd Helton, Ginter Relics with pinstripes. Got the 08, the 09, and the 2010. Love these cards. Love the way they look. Love this forestry up here. And, uh, yeah, got the whole set woven together. I still do collect those purple refractors and Helton game-used jersey pieces. So, uh, actually gifted me some of these great cards here. This is from that 20, uh, 01 and 02 Fleer made tons of game used material. And I'm just now getting some of those. And then Arnado Refractor, X Fractor, Yella. 
Uh, then I'm going to go over some of the pickups here at the show. Uh, like I normally do, I'll go through them uh, in, in dollar order from cheapest to most expensive. I did not spend a lot of money at the show, but uh, we'll go through some of these. First was the um, four for $10 box. Pick out any four cards you like, and it's only 10 bucks. So I grabbed these. And a Magic Johnson card, which is 89 Fleer. And a purple to go with the Lakers uni. Uh, Larry Bird, green to go with the Celtics uni. Classic Michael Jordan, upper deck, upper deck's first year foray into basketball cards. And then this cool, uh, it's a sample, a promo card, number one of Troy Aikman, looking real young. And that sports flicks, sport whatever. Uh, you know, I don't know if you can really see this, but see Mr. Aikman there. So just a cool card and, uh, you know, four for $10. I thought that was a pretty good pickup. So right there, pick those up. Then there was another discount bin. It was, uh, $5 per card or four for 20. Oh, I'm sorry. Five for 20. Four for 20 would be normal. Uh, five bucks a card or five for 20. So I found some. Weren't in the greatest condition, but I had to pick this up. Super uh, miscut, top to bottom, all-time home run leaders. As the man Babe Ruth there at number one. Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, who are still playing. Uh, numbers two and three. So yeah, miscut. But shows the all-time number card number one in the top set for 73. And kind of shows these guys' uh, years here. Babe Ruth hammering home runs since uh, 1915. And Hank and Willie still out there doing it. And speaking of not so great condition vintage cards, got this Whitey Ford card from 1962. Uh, tops the wood border, a uh, little miscut there, a little doggy eared, but you know still super cool vintage card. Uh, George Brett second year, Man, not in the worst shape, you know, not not gradable certainly, but not in the worst shape either. Uh, I particularly liked this card because there was a time back in my card collecting days of the late 80s, early 90s, where this was the most expensive card in my collection. Uh, so really like seeing it and couldn't turn it down for five bucks without any major flaws. Um, when I first started collecting basketball cards, this was the set I started collecting. So really cool to grab the Jordan and, and Tim Tebow. I heard he's going to be playing in the NFL again, like right here in Florida again. So, man, I don't know, but part-time baseball player, football player, just all-around good guy, Tim Tebow. So, uh, yeah, man, not bad for $20. Five bucks a piece or five for 20 So this was a $20 bill, man. Can't go wrong. Super cool. Great pickups at the show. Go out there and support your LCSs, support your local shows. The very best card that I picked up at the show, the most expensive... Uh, the dealer had it for 20 I said, would you take 15 And he said yes. And then I put it in this sick black mag. But the best card I picked up was a checklist. <laughs> I just love this card. It's awesome. Any checklist this old, you know, should be all marked up and everything. I mean, I'd say this card is a candidate for grading, except the front uh, left to right centering seems off. But those corners are on point. Beautiful. What year is this? I'm not even sure what year this is. But it's a Mickey Mantle playing days card. That's all I'm worried about. This is a beautiful, I'd say mint-ish condition playing card from Mickey Mantle's playing days. And uh, yeah, picked it up for $15. Put it in a beautiful mag. So these are the cards I got. These four for 10, this one for 15, some beautiful cards off of eBay and Amio. These pickups here, you know, most of these are PC cards. You might see one or two in egg auctions coming up. Remember, that's Thursday, that's tomorrow, or if you're watching this video tomorrow, it's today. So go ahead, let your friends know, come and join us, and remember, as always, it cometh.